Graded Card Investor. What's going on guys? It's Matt with GradedCardInvestor.com back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to cover the top 15 highest selling recently sold sports cards from 1996. Now this list could literally include nothing but 90s basketball insert cards, Jordan cards, Kobe rookie cards. However, I wanted to include a diverse list, a little bit of everything, some low end stuff, some high end stuff, and mainly just Hall of Fame rookie cards. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this list. Starting off the list at number 15 is the 1996 Upper Deck SP Marvin Harrison Rookie Card number 18, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, current PSA 10 population 172, with just over 1,300 submitted to PSA so far, sold at auction on June 23rd for $212. He does have a Topps Chrome Rookie, however, it doesn't sell for as much as the SP cards, I think because a lot of NFL rookies from this year aren't featured in the Topps Chrome set, and you'll see that later on in the video. Coming in at number 14 is a 1996 WWF Wrestling Magazine Triple H number 19 graded PSA 9 mint condition current population of only two with just six submitted to PSA so far sold at auction on June 26th for $262. During my research, this card popped up. I felt the need to include it on the list. Just to let you guys know, early wrestling cards, they're increasing in demand and uh, value, collectability essentially. So if you guys have any, or if you have any magazines with them in there, I would definitely consider selling them, putting them up for sale, or even submitting them to a third party grading company to be graded and authenticated. Coming in at number 13 is a 1996 Bowman's Best Ray Lewis rookie card number 164, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition current PSA 10 population of 225 with just shy of a thousand of these submitted so far there are also atomic refractors and refractors if you guys want to pick up some Ray Lewis cards this PSA 10 sold at auction on June 6th for $760 Hall of Fame linebacker he doesn't have any top chrome cards there are some other options for Ray Lewis rookie cards out there however I think his Bowman's best is one of his most sought after collectible and valuable ones. Coming in at number 12 is a 1996 Upper Deck SP Terrell Owens rookie card number seven, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, current PSA 10 population of 72, with around 1,130 of these submitted to PSA so far, sold at auction June 27th for $1,225. I was actually watching this auction live last night to see where it ended, and man, I couldn't believe it. $1,200 for Terrell Owens. He's third all-time receiving yards. He has a pretty impressive receiving career. I think he has some decent collectability. However, I mean, compared to some other receivers, I don't know why his cards are selling for so much right now. $1,200 is a pretty uh, pretty, pretty large price tag for a TO rookie card. Coming in at number 11 is a 1996 Merlin sticker, David Beckham rookie sticker number 40, created PSA 9, mint condition, current population of only 13 PSA 9s only three tens with just 67 submitted to PSA so far sold at auction on May 26th for $1,347. These stickers can be found in, in the 96, 97 Merlin stickers uh, packs, which were put in the 96, 97 Merlin stickers Panini sticker album. Coming in at number 10 is a 1996 Panini Calcio Andrea Perlo Rookie, number 375, graded PSA 8, near mint to mint condition, population of only one, the highest graded so far is a PSA 8, only five submitted, sold at auction on June 25th for $1,570. So these stickers were found in the Panini Calcio, 96, 97 Panini Calcio packs, which were put in the Panini Calcio sticker albums. Coming in at number 9 is a 1996 Topps Chrome Derek Jeter Prospect Card number 80 graded PSA 10 gem mint condition current PSA 10 population only 48 with just 247 of these submitted so far sold at auction on May 17th for $2,247 first year Derek Jeter Topps Chrome card some consider it a rookie card some consider it a prospect, whatever you want to call it. It's a Derek Jeter card. First year Topps Chrome cards. We all know those, they're expensive. Coming in at number eight is a 1996 Black Diamond Joe Thornton rookie card number 160, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, current population of only six, with only 66 submitted so far, sold at auction on June 25th for $3,150. Joe Thornton, he is the most collectible hockey rookie card from this year. His cards are on fire. These Black Diamond cards, I mean, they've always had some value. He's got a bunch of other options, but these Black 
diamond cards, they are tough to grade. Coming in at number seven is a 1996 Topps Chrome Ray Allen Rookie Card Refractor number 217, graded PSA 9, mint condition, current PSA 9 population of only 55, only two tens, and only 126 refractors submitted to PSA so far. Sold at auction on April 24th for $3,250. Ray Allen is a Hall of Fame player. He currently holds the number one spot for most three-pointers made at 2,973 with Stephen Curry right on his tail. He was a 10-time All-Star, two-time NBA champ, and is part of the 1996 NBA draft class. Coming in at number six is a 1996 Topps Chrome Steve Nash Rookie Card Refractor number 182, graded PSA 9, mint condition, current PSA 9 population of 67 with only six PSA 10s, 89 total submitted to PSA so far, sold at auction on May 31st for $3,735. Steve Nash is the two-time MVP, eight-time All-Star, five-time assist champ. Currently, he is third in all-time assists, career assists, currently the head coach for the Brooklyn Nets, so he's staying relevant. If he can take the Nets to the championship, that could help increase the value of his rookie card. You can pick up a Steve Nash Topps Chrome PSA 9 rookie for less than $200 right now. Coming in at number five is 1996 Panini Football Ronaldo Sticker number 90, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition. Current population uh, only two PSA 10 so far. Sold at auction on June 25th for $7,877. These were found in the Panini uh, Football Dutch Packs. This is the, the Dutch set, which were put in the Panini Football Dutch Albums. Coming in at number four is a 1996 Sports Illustrated for Kids Tiger Woods Rookie number 536 graded BGS 9.5 gem mint condition current population of 106 with 12 tens and two black label tens for a total of 788 submitted to Beckett so far sold at auction on June 25th for $11,900 the prices on these guys they're all over the place I wanted to go with the most recent one June 25th which is BGS 9.5, $11,900. You can find these in the December issue, 1996 December issue of the Sports Illustrated for Kids. Unperforated sheets, they sell for big money. If you guys have any, I would definitely consider submitting them for grading or selling them on eBay for a nice little profit. Coming in at number three is 1996 Topps Chrome Allen Iverson Rookie Card Refractor number 171, graded PSA 10 gem mint condition. Currently only 36 PSA 10 refractors out there with only 245 submitted to PSA so far. Sold at auction June 2nd for $33,433. Allen Iverson, very collectible player from the 90s. He never won a ring. However, his resume is very impressive. Coming in at number two is a 1996 Topps Chrome Kobe Bryant Rookie Card Refractor number 138 graded BGS 9.5 gem mint condition current population of only 88 with 13 tens and two black labels only 289 submitted to Beckett so far this one sold at auction June 3rd $45,100 like a lot of other cards on this list the prices are up and down all over the place, so I wanted to go with the most recent, VGS95, Kobe Bryant. A lot of you guys probably thought this was gonna be number one. However, the number one spot is gonna be held by you all know who. Coming in at number one is a 1996 Flair Showcase Legacy Collection Michael Jordan Row Zero, number 23, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, current population of only three, with just 20 of the row zero submitted so far, only 20, sold at auction on May 20th for $67,951. So this card is number one for so many different reasons. Number one being Jordan, he's the GOAT. Number two, it's the first year Flair introduced the Legacy Collection, serial numbered cards out of uh, you know 150 for 96. And Flair Showcase is just incredibly difficult to grade. They're so easily scratched on the front or the back. So a PSA 10, man, it makes this card even more rare and, uh, you know, impressive. This list was incredibly difficult for me to make. There's so many great cards from this year. Like I said, I'm going to go back through and make, you know, the top 15 Michael Jordan cards from 96, Kobe cards, Shaq cards, and so forth. Remember, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate y'all watching. Stay posted for more content. See you on the next video.